for any athlete, the pressure of Olympic perfection can be crushing. For Victoria Onoprienko, she has to focus on every toss and pointed toe while bracing for air raid sirens. The Russians train in a calm environment. They have no fear for their lives, Victoria says. The rhythmic gymnast is at the top of her sport, spinning her way to gold at the European Championships in May. During that competition, a close family friend died on the front line. Victoria's father was fighting alongside him. I'm very worried about him. I really wish the war would end. I want him to come home so I can hug him, she says. On Ukraine's national rhythmic gymnastics team, every athlete, every coach has a direct connection to the war. You are very tough. I watched. <laughs> Head coach Irina Derugina and her daughter, an assistant coach, tell me they turn up the pressure so their athletes can defeat their fears. We've had a girl who uh, lost a leg, and right now she uh, she's back uh, recovering. She lost uh, her leg on, uh, from the missile attack in Odessa. She just competed in her first camp competition because the sport has helped her recover. More than 300 Ukrainian Olympic hopefuls have died in battle since the war began last year, and hundreds of training grounds have been damaged or destroyed. The IOC says the Russian and Belarusian Olympic committees won't be invited to Paris, but they say neutral athletes from those countries should be allowed. Facing them on the mat is unthinkable, most Ukrainians say. Jean Belenyuk won gold in Tokyo. Would you be able to shake their hand? Uh, not. No. Mm -mm. The Ukrainian government making the decision for them, planning to boycott every event in which a neutral athlete from Russia or Belarus takes part. It's unacceptable for them to be on the same tracks, in the same halls, the sports minister told me. For Victoria, it's a difficult balance. We should boycott the games, she says, but at the same time, I think we should go out and fight. We are not afraid of them. Kelly Kobieya, NBC News, Kyiv, Ukraine. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.